Colt AR-15s are awesome. I've never said otherwise here. Not never. I did, however, wait about a decade before tabletopping this Colt 6920. Yeah, officially we are in year 11, and here's a tabletop review on the Colt. Why did that happen? Here's why. I'm going to level with you. I hate groupthink. That's why. That's one reason I started TMP. I was in the forums. I saw what the forums said. I saw all the fights. I saw the groupthink. I saw the gatekeeping. I was like, this is nonsense. I'm out of here. And in a lot of ways, all I heard from about, I don't know, the late 90s until when I started TMP is if you want a reliable AR-15, you got to buy Colt, maybe Noveski, a couple other brands, and if you don't, you are an idiot. And that just did not jibe with my own experience. I felt like there were some other great brands, a lot more now, that weren't given due credit. And so I'm not one to jump on, you know, group think bandwagon. That's why I'm stubborn. I was like, hey, I got to do some work here. I need to open some minds to some other brands. And so for the first couple years, you know, I'm going to talk about this brand, AR-15, that brand, and I'll get around to Colt like now. <laughs> That's why. And I think most people's minds are open. They don't, I don't hear anymore like, oh, only Colt is reliable. No, there's a ton of brands. BCM, awesome AR-15s. Awesome. Smith & Wesson, outstanding. FN, dude, they rock. Poff, you want me to go on? But, you know, back in the day, I would say maybe in the 80s, that played well. So if you said, hey, in the 1980s, you want a, an AR-15 that works? You might want to buy an, uh, a Colt. I think that made a lot more sense. And I could, I could understand it then. But that's the reason. That's why I waited. Just so you know. But they're awesome. They are awesome. And still, I do see this sentiment. And I am kind of accepting of it. Because I think a guy needs to kind of open his mind to new brands. Very proven. Just as proven in Colt as Colt, I think. Through competitive circles, a lot of civilian shooting, and perhaps LE circles. But if he says, hey, I know Colt's proven. It's a proven commodity in the military. A lot of police units have used it. Just like this guy. So here's a Colt AR-15 A3. Shown in the project. Heavily worn. Heavily used. This thing's beautiful. Love this thing. It's rocking a hollow sun. I think that's a 503C. I forget exactly which one. And we did a mini video out in the, the desert. Jardine and I showing this gun in action. Oh, what a beautiful gun. <laughs> Look how heavily worn it is. And it still rocks. It's still 100% accurate. It's still 100% reliable. And it's heavily used. How many you know training quals did this gun go to? I wish it could speak. I wish it could tell its history. Did, was it any in run and gun battles, like a Hollywood shootout style thing? Who knows? But a police department wisely cho chose that Colt product, and I'm putting it on the table for a reason, to demonstrate its provenness, if you will. It is a proven commodity, the Colt. And so if a guy says, hey, if I get a Colt, I know it's going to be good. Now, I want to caveat that by saying... Just like any manufacturer, there can be problems. And perhaps there are lemons out there. I've seen it from just about every manufacturer. All types of quality control problems. But working the military contracts, Colt has had decades to ring out all the bugs, right? Quality control bugs. And if they didn't, they'll lose a contract because they are monitored. But Colt, having gone through that process, transfers all the quality right there. Right there. And by the way, this is a really cool model of Colt to get. And you may be looking at this if you don't know and go, what kind of Colt is that? You know, it has a Magpul MOE buttstock on it. It's got a tan A2 grip on it. It's got a Troy Alpha Rail on it. What is that? It is a Colt 6920 OEM, my recommended version. That's why I got it for testing and review from Gunnies, the great American gun store that loaned me this gun for a review. I went in the back there and I started scouring through all his AR-15s. I looked, I saw a Colt, and I was like, what? Naked? Well, I get to put the buttstock on this? I get to put the pistol grip on it? And it's cheap? Dude, I was all over. I was like, yeah, this is the one I'm going to review. Not a ready-made one, because I have that right here. I mean, that's just standard furniture. This, to me, is more intriguing. 
and it's more cost saving because you get to determine what you put on there. It's kind of a fun little project and uh, go, go for it. You'll save some money in the process. How many times do we get a Colt? Let's say you got this back in the day and you hated that M4 handguard, which I do. I think it's oblong. I've never liked it. Too short. Can't mount anything to it. On this gun, it stays because it's historical. That's the way I got the gun. This is a replacement one. It's not the old beat up one, but this, dude, this six position, this original, look how thrash that is from cop use. That's awesome. A2's replaced it. The A2 they probably had on there was so shined up. They're like, yeah, we can't sell that like that. So an armor goes in there, takes these two pieces off, but it came that way. So I'm leaving it. But when it comes to first cool functionality, yeah, I'm going to put something diff on. I'm going to put a free float. I'm going to put something I could put accessories on. Now, don't look at this and go, whoa, that's his perfect AR-15. No, you go watch my video, the perfect AR-15. That's the way I set them up. Usually, it's going to be an 18-inch barrel, SPR configuration, or CQB 16-inch ultralight pencil barrel, kind of like a BCM enhanced lightweight fluted barrel. Super light, super wicked accurate, durable. Yeah, watch that video. But this is stuff I had laying around. So I had that laying around, that one, that one. I was like, I'll just put those parts on there. I had this laying around. So I took out the trigger guard. I forgot who made that. It's cheap, though. It's just anodized red aluminum and large trigger guard. It was fun putting it together, and I'm pretty happy how it turned out. So happy. I was like, yeah, I don't know if I replace anything on this gun. <laughs> Not even this. It's, it's color matched with these components. It's kind of a Frankenstein thing going on here. We had different brands. Works great. I laugh at us as AR-15 users because we're so elitist sometimes. I've been guilty myself, like, yeah, I don't like this about the handguard and the trigger doesn't pull exactly right. I'm saying, I'm admitting, I've been there. And dudes, look at what the, the cop used on this one. There ain't, there ain't crap on there. It's stock. The guy didn't ran it. Why? Because it's going to be in warranty that way. It's simple for the armor and it works. They left this on there, left that on there. It's just stock as it came from Colt. They didn't do anything from the trigger. After thousands and thousands of rounds, I'll tell you, this trigger, this mil spec trigger and this AR-15A3, awesome. Oh my gosh, we raved about it. We're like, man, that trigger's smooth. You know, if you're gonna go old school, just shooting rounds, that's gonna take a, a lot of ammo and a lot of time to get it to that level, but it is. This trigger on this one, not so great. It's mil spec, it's just crunchy. Need some work, need some tuning. You determine though, I mean, you can drop a module in there, change it out all day long. Let's start with Colt quality right here, because this is the heart of the matter. If you get a Colt OEM, and this version is the, if I'm not mistaken, the regular OEM, you can get one with a front sight block on it, F marked, military spec front sight base on it. <clears throat> and that one's a Colt OEM 2. I just went with a clean barrel because I knew I'd be putting either a reflex or an optic on here. I'd determine which one you want. I, I would go with the clean barrel myself. This exact one. Did I mention the price? 850 MSRP. It's a lot less what Gunny's selling it for. I'll probably annotate it or write it in the description. It's, dude, totally worth it. But going back to the quality levels, mil spec levels, and I don't want to get a big long discussion about it. I've already spent a lot of video time on this already. Uh, I always said mil spec is not the holy grail of quality. I think it is somewhat stymied in advancement, but what I've always said about mil spec is that um, it's not like technologically advanced, but it does ensure the quality of components. Better said. So I like that aspect of mil spec. Not necessarily that, hey, it has to be designed this way, the safety lever has to have this angle on it. No. I like aftermarket safety levers, what they do different on them, but they're not mil spec, but mil spec ensures quality. I'm not going to crack this open because we already know what's in there. It's a mil spec bolt carrier group, M16 variety. About an ounce heavier than a regular AR-15 bolt carrier group. But what you will find is Carpenter 158 steel. Excellent wear resistance, military proven. And no, Colt's not the only one that uses that level of quality. I'll mention a couple other brands I already have, but it's Colt's turn, I guess. Chrome plated on the interior of the BCG. Shot peened, magnetic particle inspected, grade eight fasteners, proper staking of the gas key. There's that word again, proper. HPT, military quality of the BCG. You know, there have been some civilian advancements. I'm thinking of POF right now that I think enhance durability that I, I admire. I think they're on cutting edge and they're doing things to make 
the internals of an AR-15 style of weapon be very durable. The, how they do their charging handler and their cam roller pin comes to mind. That's not mil spec. Once again, mil spec sometimes stymied technology. Rant complete. Hope you liked it. Forged upper and lower. No billet nonsense here. Hey, I love billet. I always said I like forged. Again, it's strong. It's lighter than billet almost always in my experience. This thing naked weighs 6 pounds 9 ounces. The Colt 6920 OEM you're looking at on the table. Outfitted with everything you see on it, 7 pounds 1 ounce. Including the awesome Hollow Sun HS510C to be reviewed in field in a separate video. 7.2 ounces, $300 in Amazon. Great EOTech alternative, it is excellent. Solar power, 50,000 hours of life. 65 MOA circle with a precise 2 MOA dot in the middle of it. Man, we live in some fun days, right? Fun, fun days. Cerro Forge is this forge, in case you're wondering. H buffer, mil spec 2, proper like staking. There's that word again, proper, of the castle nut. Standard Colt. No bayonet lug on this one. I don't know if the FSB version has it or not. Sometimes I, have I honestly don't remember. That's features. Oh, no, it isn't. I forgot the barrel, the most important part. Colt quality is uh, all about the barrel, actually. So this is a 16-inch barrel, M4 profiling, which, uh, okay, I'll take it. Makes it lighter. Shoots plenty good. That's just my own weirdness, which I've talked about a lot. And then you can see it's a pinned gas tube under there. No screws. Mill spec pinning. Awesome. So you don't have to fool around with it. Since it's a low profile gas tube, as you can see, let me get my light so you can see better. Is it right up there? I'm not going to insert pictures, just doing this. So you just slide over your free float handguard and you're done. Perfect. One and seven twist, chrome lined, of course. Five, five, six chambering. Oh, and check this out 4150 steel, if you care. Mm, pretty much regarded nowadays as the best barrel steel you can get. Uh, these days I kind of like, again, we're deviating from mil spec here. I like melanite or a QPQ, I think they call it, coating better than chrome plating because it's a more uniform distribution, leads to better accuracy. But again, chrome plating is, I shouldn't say plating, but chrome lining is proven, right? So it's a proven thing. By the way, this pistol... Coming up for review, it is the FS9 by Diamondback. Can you believe I put that on the table? Why did I? Because it's actually pretty good. That's why. High value pistol that works. Finally some positive press for DB. <laughs> Finally. Oh, and the watch for review is the awesome Momentum Torpedo Dive Watch. Torpedo 44, Amazon link below, and man is this a winner. I think I reviewed it the other night. You'll see that review post. Scuba dive proven with myself in the cold waters in California. It's 55 degrees the day I dove this. God, it's freezing. Freezing. I came out of the water with an inadequate wetsuit. I shivered for like a half hour. My wife was on the shore watching. She's like, dude, you are cold. I'm like, yeah, no kidding. I need to upgrade my wetsuit. Totally. How does it shoot? Features review is done, by the way. Uh, it's awesome. The Colt 6920 and this one, the heavily used Colt AR-15 A3 specifically, basically the same gun if you ask me. Uh, just amazing. I mean, they're 100% reliable. doesn't matter what you put in them. Steel, chug, chug, chug. Brass, chug, chug, chug. Low power, chug, chug, chug. High power, chug, chug, chug. It works. This is a standard of AR-15s. So when I, I review an AR-15 and I happen to run some steel through it, and guys in the comments, they'll get excited. And go, well, you shouldn't expect that gun to... Yeah, I should. This gun does it all day long. This 20-year-old gun does it all day long. With probably a pretty worn buffer spring in it. <laughs> Smooth, you betcha. Again, I didn't dig the trigger so much. Let's look at accuracy. Trigger's easily changed out, though. So this is the OEM Naked. I think at one time I did put glass on it for the testing. You're looking at pretty good accuracy. Remember, it's a chrome lined barrel. One and seven twist, PMC. That's awesome. Really, it's awesome out of here. This I've seen PMC throw out an AR-15 like that. That's okay. That's okay. This is a American Eagle 55 grain flyer. Otherwise, really nice group. Decent group there. 77 grain match kings. 
out of a Colt 6920, that's really good. That's just over MOA, 77 grain right there. Oh, what do you know? I have a target from this guy too, the Colt AR15A3 LE used 6920. I said nice two-stage trigger, accurate, 100%. And this is after rapid firing. What's my range on this? I think 50. So there you go. Look at that. That gun right here. This is with a non-magnified optic. Colt. Colt. So how did it shoot? Huge thumbs up, dude. Huge thumbs up. That's how it shot. I love the Colt series. They're awesome. My point again is they're not the only nice, awesome nice ARs out there. BCM, Bravo, LMT, LWRC, POF. And I think the value brands are awesome too. Savage, Ruger put the AR556 together. That thing shot very accurately, although it had problems with steel early on. Smith & Wesson, Rock River Arms. The list goes on and on and on. And most of them are pretty, pretty excellent. Wyndham Weaponry is another one. Palmetto. I guess I am going on. I could list probably 20 other brands. Colt ain't the only gaming in town for sure, but it is good. And that brings us to the question, would I buy it? Without, with everything out there, would I spend my money on a Colt? Absolutely. No questions asked. Yeah, I absolutely, like this one, I'm really considering buying it. And the last thing I need is another AR. <laughs> I don't need another AR. I don't. Too many, not enough time. But I love it, and it's cool as a cast member, a crew member. I call them cast crew members here. It's cool because it is a Colt product, and it's just a common language in the AR-15 community. People know about Colt. Highly recommended. Nice. Review complete. Nice low trigger. All hits. Excellent. Actually, I should do it here, huh? Awesome. Way good. 300 yard shot. I won that one. It's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's not as bad as ground. Go stuff. prone. Huh? Go prone. You're gonna get dirty, but whatever. I don't wanna ruin this shirt. It'll be alright, it'll wash clean. We don't have any. Hey, you can start loading these up with PMC brass. Okay. Awesome. Excellent. 
Excellent shooting. Woo! M4 carbine. Colt 6920. Shooting a legend. I actually didn't mind it though. It's excellent. The trigger, uh, You can replace the trigger easy. Is what it is, but as far as a base. It's awesome. Pretty good, it seems like it's accurate enough. It did okay in accuracy, but it sure is reliable. The Colt AR! Wow. Awesome! That is hot up there. <laughs> it's warm. Nice. No misses. Jardine. Lighten it up with the freaking Colt. Still running strong. Love this gun. It's awesome. Say, I got to hand it to Colt because Colt is a known quantity. And that's why a lot of guys gravitate to Colt. And, and a lot of guys, if they're mature, they'll say, hey, there's a lot of great brands. I love a lot of brands. But Colt, and you might throw an F in in that category with their military mm -hmm. contracts. Mm -hmm. Known quantity. Known quantity known quality and that and this is a testament to that i i like a lot of brands of ars i really do and i think a lot of brands would travel this same road of heavy use and be just great but here we are we did hook into a colt and it's uh as advertised pretty badass <laughs> so this one delivers true or false true totally true i love it Thanks for uh, coming out. I appreciate your help. Man, thanks for having me. I love Jardine's this Jardine's pure, man. Lots I like him uh, coming out and helping me. Lots of fun. Colt AR, infield video, Nothing Fancy Project, Jardine, Nothing Fancy, signing off from the high mountains of Afghanistan. <laughs> what? It is Afghanistan. It looks like Afghanistan. It does.